not that there's anything against fake handbags, but that's one thing, exactly. right? Exactly. But but wait a second here. Fake jewelry, we're, we're, fake handbags, fake. But we're talking about stuff that's dangerous. We're talking exactly. about things that are going to put people at risk. Fake condoms, condoms that don't that don't pass regulation, or fake Viagra with with increased amount of potency. I mean, this is dangerous stuff. So, what other counterfeit items should consumers watch out for when it comes to their health? Well, let's talk about hand sanitizers because everybody was obsessed with these during the beginning of this pandemic and trying to get their hands on them any way they could. And it turns out that counterfeit hand sanitizers started flooding the marketplace. Instead of containing ethanol alcohol, they contain methanol alcohol, which is extremely dangerous even to breathe in when you put it on your hands. And so the FDA came up with a recall list and they started putting all of these hand sanitizers on there. More than a hundred made that recall list, but we went online and you can still get some of these recalled hand sanitizers online. For example, we got a Hello Kitty hand sanitizer that actually was a counterfeit one and it was confiscated because it had methanol contamination. And this is extremely concerning because that appeals to children. And I want to talk about children because U.S. poison control data shows that children more than ever during this pandemic are accidentally ingesting hand sanitizer. Why? Because it's lying around the house. Most of these bottles aren't tamper resistant and parents might not know that their particular hand sanitizer has been recalled. So parents should really watch out, keep this stuff out of reach in, even in your car from children and make sure that your product isn't on the FDA recall list. Well, Leslie, I mean, these, these counterfeiters, they're smart. They're opportunistic, they're crafty. Uh, as you alluded to, we, we ran out of hand sanitizers and masks and things like that. So they took the opportunity, they created these uh, less than par uh, products and tried to flood the market with it. So all that being said, what is the best way for consumers to protect themselves from bringing dangerous counterfeit goods into their home? Well, when we talk about the most dangerous goods, let's talk a little bit about supplements. Supplements are already an unregulated industry, and then you compound that with getting this stuff online. You don't know where it's manufactured. And so I think it's safer for consumers to buy their supplements in big box retailers and get brand name supplements because at least you have some security about the supply chain and the manufacturing process. And another point I want to bring up is that Homeland Security really goes off of consumer tips. They're the first line of defense. So if you feel like something is off, or in the case, let's say, of N95 masks recently, healthcare workers were like, these don't fit right. They smell funny. And they contacted the manufacturer. And the manufacturer worked with Homeland Security investigators and got that stuff out of consumers' hands and off of our shelves. As always, Leslie, great expose. And Dr. Sportelli, I mean, we just have to quickly comment on yeah. supplements. I mean, you, yeah. these potentially are lethal. Dangerous you stuff. Have, you have no clue what they're lacing these supplements with, and supplements can be very powerful Unregulated, we don't know the potency, they're marketed for all different kinds of stuff that has not been tested, and people read about it and they take it. Incredibly dangerous, you have to know what you're putting and, in your And whatever body. you're trying to treat, whether it's mental illness, can make it worse. You're trying thing. to treat erectile dysfunction, potentially can make it worse. Absolutely. So just stay away from uh, supplements that you don't know the source. Mm -hmm. We'll have links to the Homeland Security Investigations Team and other resources on our website, thedoctorstv.com.